How do you get rid of errors, blank cells, and zero line items in pivot tables? I'll show you right now. I've got some exa an example of a pivot table which looks very messy. If you're going to produce this, you definitely uh, would want to tidy this up. Plenty of blank, blank cells within it where there's no data. There's a couple of errors up here that we want to deal with and lots and lots of rows that total zero. So first off, we want to get rid of the blank cells and errors. And the way we can do this is quite simple, really. There is an option, a pivot table option that deals with both of these things. So clicking anywhere in the pivot table, you will get a pivot table toolbar. Click on that analyze section, go over to options and you can click that. Alternatively, you can right click and select pivot table options from the menu, exactly the same thing. Now you can see we have a on the layout and format tab, format box, the zero value for error values show and for empty cells show. So we just tick both of those. So for empty, uh, empty cells, I'm going to show it as zero. And for errors, now you could like highlight these errors by literally typing the word error, for example, in there. So let's just do that. Click OK. You can see now we've got the word error appearing here. And if we go down to the bottom, you'll see we've got errors in the totals as well. Now, unfortunately, we just go back to this option. It's tempting. I always think to put a zero for an error. But if you do that, what happens is you get a zero come in there and that looks better. But if you notice grand total also zeros, it doesn't just ignore, it doesn't become the grand total of that any longer. So you would, I would have hoped, I would have loved to have seen that come to 972, given that that is the grand total of this row. And the only way I found out how to get around this is to go back to the source data and literally correct for the error, which is far, far from ideal. So if you're going to do this and you're going to show errors as zeros, you need to make sure you're not showing any grand totals anywhere. And that can be quite appropriate sometimes anyway. You don't need to show grand totals. So we could just remove the grand totals on pivot table options as well. Totals and filters show remove the two totals and then we're we're not showing anything disingenuous we've not got totals on the bottom we could then manually total these if we wanted to make it look like the rest of the pivot table what if we wanted to remove all of these rows where everything comes to a zero so we don't need to show these rows for example here it's pointless now you should just be able to right click on it and go filter Value filters. Now, where the sum of cells does not equal zero. So we only want to see lines where the sum of the cells does not equal zero. And if I do that, what that's done is removed any rows where everything is a zero. And if I just quickly go down to the bottom, you see we're now down to about 900 rows. So we cut several hundred rows out of this. Uh, pivot table which is going to make it a lot easier on the eye and we're not showing any data we no longer we don't need to see so don't forget you can download the spreadsheet by clicking on the link in the description it can work for all of this or just have ready-made examples because i put in the end and the start scenes within that spreadsheet You've been watching Up for Excel, where we aim to get your Excel skills up and your task times down. See you soon.